Thanks, Scott. And sticking with movie news, Moonlight director Barry Jenkins is at it again with his new romantic drama, If Beale Street Could Talk. The film adaptation is making headlines for its tragic yet beautiful story, and it's already earning some serious Oscar buzz. We're checking in with Arthur Cade at the New York premiere. Oscar winner Barry Jenkins is following Moonlight up with another beautiful film, If Beale Street Could Talk, and I'm chatting with him in the brilliant cast at the New York Film Festival. You're making these impactful movies. How important is that to you? I just try to tell the stories that move me, and I think with this film in particular, you know, Baldwin published the novel in 1974, the fact that it's still impactful today, it's just uh, it's proof positive to his brilliance. We've known Bunny all his life. He's about to pay for something he didn't do. Barry just set a tone that made all of us um, bring our A game to the third power. And um, because of that, you just have this commitment to honoring the words of James Baldwin on such a high level. I think he's just pure love, you know, and warmth. I love film when, when we celebrate the point of view of someone, and, and I believe Barry's point of view needs to be celebrated. He's incredibly thoughtful about the human story that he's telling in, in every very, very specific way. I feel like um, I got a blanket put around me. You know, even with some of the subject matter being what it is, it's still, love is so strong, it's not the backdrop of the film. It is what drives um, all of the stories. I love you, you know that. I do, and I understand what you're going through because I'm with you. It's wrapped in love, so it's like it really ignites that reminder to, you know, as you go out into the world, as you struggle with difficulties and injustices, to remember, love is why you're out there. Remember, love is what brought you here. And if you trusted love this far, don't panic now.